Now, in the October trade balance, we're looking for a number around $55 billion. Of course, that's a minus sign, a deficit. And darn close, $55.5 billion on the deficit. That is, of course, for the month of October on trade. And it sequentially follows 54 minus 54.6. Third quarter final, uh, non-farm productivity up 2.3, exactly as expected sequentially. One-tenth higher than our last look. This is the third quarter final. U labor costs up nine-tenths, darn close the expectations of up 1%. That sequentially follows our last look at 1.2. On jobless claims, last week, 234 revised to 235. Subtract 4,000, minus 4,000 to 231,000. And on continuing claims, we move from 1.705 to the new number, a pretty good drop of 1.631 million. So indeed, a big drop there. If we look up at the board, we still have more data points coming. Uh, interest rates have moved into the 280s. Uh, remember, we did an exchange a couple of days ago. If you look at the 241 close last year and look at 324 high this year, Right in the middle is 282. It was also a significant number in the rear view mirror on the charts. So 282, 283 is very good support. Many are surprised we are coming so close to testing it. Back to you. Rick, thank you. Uh, we were just saying, you know, here on set that if you are starting to get concerned about the cycle and the economy, well, there's one indicator you could take to your desert island. It's the, the jobless claims that right. we get every week. Very sensitive to the stock market, to how the economy is doing. It's still really low. Yeah, and so. it went down. And, uh, and the other one was revised. But Rick, when did it? Are you still there, Rick? Bottom. The, when yeah. did it? How long has it been? Because people point to that. that. That could be the early sign of trouble. But this, uh, this is a, a lays fears a little bit. I wonder what you think. I know it's not in the number tomorrow, but what do you think about tomorrow? Well, I, my own feeling is, is I think the economy is really not a whole lot different than it was a month or two months or three months ago. What is different is that fairy dust. So we all underestimate how confidence in the marketplace, and I'm not talking consumer confidence or Michigan, but just confidence in a lot of the policies, the dynamics, how the Fed's doing, how it all pieces together trade. We've lost a little of that. But let's not lose sight of the fact that if you asked any of your guests, Joe, in January or February this year where they thought the 10-year note yield would be, their number was significantly higher than here. There has been a big position movement that's also pushing rates down. But let's not forget the biggest thing. Beginning of the year, we were just sweating over the fact how equity is going to deal with higher interest rates. Now interest rates are going down, and that's the excuse for equities to go down. You could paint it any way you like. I think the cornerstone of the economy is good. I think market logistics are getting in the way a bit. And I do think there's a year-end issue going on here as well. Listen, the Fed isn't responsible for this directly, but all central banks are responsible very directly. We're going through the end of an experiment, and I still say don't underestimate how central bank balance sheets and the notions of how negative interest rates through the rest of the world have shaved the parity between U.S. growth and the rest of the globe, and I think that uh, is changing a bit, and I think that's the process we're you know, going through. And we have, you know, we have kids at home watching, and we, there is a Santa Claus, right, Rick? We can, you can confirm that, right? And, and that could mean... You know, between now and the end of the year, maybe something a little bit better, since we know that he's real, right? Well, I think uh, he's as real as anything sometimes we discuss here in the morning, Joe, yeah, but I will tell you this. That's, that's uh, right. Yeah. <laughs> When I will tell you way. this, that economy, the economy and the markets aren't synonymous. Uh, of course, they have a huge rhyming the correlation together. And I think what we're doing is uh, we're, we're recalibrating a, a number of issues. And I really do think that the rest of the globe is exporting us a lot of this uneasiness, whether it's Brexit, we underestimate the global impact there. And on the trade issues, uh, listen, I, I don't ever suspect we're going into a trade war. But there is very little doubt that there's big swaths of the supply chain that aren't investing or spending the capital until these things get worked out. And all this is eroding. And I just think that it hit at a time where people have let their market confidence guard down. And I don't suspect it's going to disappear quickly, but I will still go on record saying I don't think it's the big one.